Hi everyone, my name is Lauren. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. Today we have a brainstorming video where I'm just going to share what's been going on in my healing and ascension journey and I hope that what I share is impactful and helpful and maybe there are some tips and things you can apply to your everyday life. So this is just like we're hanging out and just catching you up. So grab a cup of coffee or tea or matcha and let's begin. So before we get into today's episode, which we're really going to be focusing on the transition to 5D or 5D consciousness, um, because I just reached that point <laughs> last week and it came from intense emotional suffering and pain, which I was able to use and transmute into so much light that I reached a whole new level. Um, so we're going to talk about 5D, um, kind of what that means, how you get there, and now that I'm in 5D, like what that feels like. Um, we're going to talk about extraterrestrials, um, and then I also have some updates and some announcements about my business. So. First update is I am starting a podcast and I'm so excited because I finally received, like I feel like I download everything, I received the name for the podcast, it's going to be Ascension Academy Podcast. So I'm going to be uploading the more recent interviews that I've been doing on YouTube as well as adding new episodes. So be on the lookout for that Ascension Academy! It's so perfect! Um, and I've been trying to like redo my look because people are like, Lauren, your content's so good, but you look like a librarian. <laughs> so I'm trying to like not be a librarian, but you know, I've always been super into school, and so the whole academy part um, just really vibes and fits with me. So we're launching the Ascension Academy podcast. Um, let's see. Other updates, so on the YouTube channel, um, which again is going to coincide with podcast episodes as well, we have some incredible guests coming on um, that I'm going to start filming in the next couple of weeks. So we have one woman who's going to do an introductory piece on crystals. So crystals for beginners, um, I don't know that much about crystals, so we're I'm going to be learning too and asking lots of questions and people call her the crystal whisperer, the crystal guru. So we're going to do a piece on that. She also is in touch with inner earth beings and this is another subject I have no knowledge of. So we're going to be learning about the inner earth civilizations. Um, and it's just amazing. I feel like part of my spiritual awakening um, and yours too, I'm sure, is realizing that all of these things we thought were magic or fairy tales or science fiction is actually real. So we're going to learn about the inner earth beings. Um, and then we're going to do another interview with a woman who is a fantastic healer. She is in touch with the Galactic Federation and apparently she's an incredible dream interpreter. So I want to be asking her about what dreams are, how to interpret them, um, as well as her work with the Galactic Federation. And then the last one, we're bringing on a woman who has recently channeled an incredible new energy healing system, which I have been applying after I reached 5D, I've been using this. So this is her book. So it's a, the, it's a really long name, the Seraphim Rose Pyramid System. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this today because I have been using it. This is one of the most potent and powerful energy healing systems that has ever come to earth. I'm not saying that, I'm channeling that. I'm just saying what I'm hearing. This is an incredible system and we're going to interview her. Um, so we have that coming up. And then the last announcement is that I am hosting a live event haven't picked the date yet, but it's sometime mid-June um, in Lafayette, Indiana. So this is where Purdue University is. And we're going to have 
think it's gonna be in the evening. It's on a lavender field, so you can come and pick your own lavender. We're gonna do a little bit of guided movement and meditation. Um, and then you can pick your own lavender. We're gonna have lavender lemonade and lavender coffee and lavender sweets and treats. Um, and it's just gonna be fun. So, and it's all going to be free, um, totally donation based. So I will be announcing that. Um, hope you guys can come. Okay guys, so let's get into the video. What's been going on with me? So I was in Austin, Texas for three weeks and it was a trip that outwardly just looks like a trip. <laughs> and actually behind the scenes, there's a lot going on, a lot of energy healing work, land healing work, um, galactic federation work that I'm doing that I'm not really able to share all the details yet. So it was three weeks, very, very profound trip. Um, but let me talk a little bit about what happened that bumped me into 5D. Um, like, I can't really share all the details right now, but something happened. I was so distraught. I was so upset and heartbroken. For like three days, I was throwing up. I couldn't eat. I couldn't get out of bed. So sick from emotional pain. Something that happened. Um, and so, you know, as I do, as a healer, I I want to feel better. And I have a toolkit um, of healing modalities that I use to feel better. So it was all about transmuting emotional pain. Um, and so I spent several days doing these things. And somehow, afterwards, I felt so high, so blissful, so evolved and changed permanently, like at a cellular level. And then I felt this inner knowing that I had finally made it to 5D. And I was like, I never knew what is 5D. Um, and so you guys may have heard of this 5D, you know, Earth is ascending to the fifth dimension. What does that even mean? I'm just going to share. To me, right now, it is a state of being. It is a level of consciousness that I have reached. There is a physical fifth dimension, but I'm being told not to worry about that or think about it right now. Right now, fifth dimension is a state of consciousness. Um, so I transmuted so much emotional pain. I got to such a high place of love, of open heartedness, of just light in like every cell of my body. It's also like I rewired my brain to be so positive. And I had to, I was in total meltdown, emotional anguish mode. <sighs> And now it's like, so now that I'm in 5D, this state of consciousness, it's like I can't think a negative thought. Like it's almost like my brain, I've reached a point where my brain is on autopilot. I can't think negatively. Yes, there are some moments where something might irritate me and it like immediately snaps. It's like, no, positive. Like I'm just constantly thinking the best. It's like, it's almost like fear can't exist here. You know, before fear consumes you and takes over you. And I was in so much fear and pain. And it's like, fear can't exist. It's like fifth dimension. Fear doesn't exist. I feel so connected to source and to love. And I feel so positive and not even hopeful because hopeful means you're like wanting something. Like it's like a knowing of only good things are coming now, just positivity. Everything I see, it's like with rose-colored glasses, everything looks beautiful, it feels beautiful. It's like I'm literally stopping and smelling the roses and just flowing, flowing. Like I'm, I feel so now, I feel so in the now, in the present moment. There's, I'm really not thinking about the past or thinking about the future. 
Like even if I start to think, oh, a few days from now or a month from now, it doesn't matter. I'm like, I am now and I'm present. And I just, there's an inner peace. It's like my outside circumstances have not changed. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing on the outside has changed. It's all about the inside, how I feel, how I'm thinking, I'm present, I'm alive, I'm happy, just positive. And I'm just hearing this is the fifth dimension. I'm also getting mega downloads. Like before I, you know, I would receive information and downloads. Now it's just like streaming and so much information and downloads. Um, So my intuition feels so on point and so crisp and I'm just wanting to protect my energy so yeah here we go 5d I don't know what comes next this is what we've all been waiting for and talking about 5d and if you're listening to this I would guess that you either also made the transition with me or you're about to okay and so the other thing I want to say so I want to talk about pain and emotional pain. I was suffering so much. Um, And I was just remembering, so something that Spirit showed me a while back, is that pain in darkness is like food for the light. So I saw this vision of darkness, dark energy, The light uses that to transmute into more light, okay? God universe isn't punishing us. It's it's for expansion. The darkness is used to create more light and more love. And it is helpful when you're in pain to keep this in mind. But so I'll share a few things that really helped me because I wouldn't be surprised, you know, Those of you that are watching are also on this ascension journey and spirit might also orchestrate something painful for you to bump you up. Um, Are you probably, if you're resonating with this, you've probably also come from trauma and from pain. And if you're here, we transmute it into light. We heal ourselves. We get better. We improve. We take our pain and our suffering and our darkness and we use it to turn it into light. That's what I'm all about. So I'm just going to share a few techniques of things I was applying to myself when I was in emotional pain. So the first one is a practice called EFT tapping. So you can look up videos for this, but it's a psychosomatic practice, meaning it gets into your body. So you tap on different acupressure points in your body, and you're able to say affirmations and express out your emotions. I was doing this one time and just started throwing up. Um, and so in this way, throwing up is actually healing. The body is able to purge emotions through throwing up. Okay. That's stuck energy that has to get out of the body. So EFT tapping, I'll leave a link below to my favorite EFT tapper on YouTube. So the second thing that I did that I think was probably the most beneficial in transmuting is literally just sitting with the pain. So I love the mantra, feel it to heal it. Okay. The pain body, I'm going to use this word. It's literally like a demon or an entity that gets inside of us. Okay. It's literally a culmination of energies of darkness, of emotional pain, that gets inside our bodies it also gets inside our mind it's fear it's literally just fear but it is an energy okay it's an energy the thing is when you feel it and you put your consciousness and your awareness on it it transmutes okay because the light is more powerful you are light you are source you are god you are creator And so if you're feeling pain inside of you and you just sit with it and you feel it, you're putting light on the darkness, okay? It's going to be exceptionally painful, okay? Most of us can't even sit in a room with ourselves on a normal day when you're in active emotional pain. 
be able to just sit with it and breathe through it is so painful. Um, but it's actually how we can transmute and release the stuck emotions, okay? We want to release these from our bodies and our energy fields. A few years ago, I realized this is what a menstrual period is designed to do. It's actually designed as an experience or a window or a portal of time where women can sit with themselves for a few days. This is how we're supposed to be. Sit with ourselves with our pain, with our emotions, our physical pain, and you sit with it and you rest with it and you transmute it into light. And when women are, are on our periods, we are like at least 10 times more powerfully able to transmute these stuck energies. Now the world's been designed to suppress us, keep us away from our bodies, our intelligence. Um, you know, there has been this war on vibration. So this knowledge has been hidden from us. Our wombs have been, you know, cut off from us, literally cut off, suppressed with all of these drugs. Anyway, I could go on. <laughs> when you sit with your emotions, the pain, all you do is breathe with it and feel it. You're literally transmuting it into light. You're letting it evaporate from your body. It's very hard to do. Now, most of us, when we feel pain, we search for something to numb it, okay? Could be drugs, sex, alcohol, food, anything. Number of things, distractions, even things that can be, quote, healthy, like working out or working can often be we're running away and escaping the pain, the emotional pain body inside. There's no shortcuts, we, but there are tools, tools to apply to transmute it into light and literally to clear all of the trauma and pain from your body. So the EFT tapping was great. I sat with my pain body. Um, another thing I did, the third thing was I listened to a Ho'oponopono guided meditation. So I'll link that in. Um, I also called a couple friends. The pain was so intense and I was like doing my practices trying to transmute it. I'm like I just need to talk to some friends. I need help. So calling friends, kind of lightening the energy up, distracting yourself for a little bit. And then I'd go back and I'd feel the pain again. And I'd do tapping. Um, in order to help me sleep at night, I did yoga nidra, which is a practice. It also gets you into the body, relaxes you. Um... I was listening to guided meditations to sleep. And a couple of things that were really important is one, I was comforting my inner child. And two, I had my higher self on speed dial. So I have developed the ability to talk to, talk with these aspects of ourselves. And so we all have an inner child. It's not a metaphor. It's like literally a living active being piece of you that is alive that needs comfort and needs talk to so i was constantly soothing her comforting her and i also have established a connection to my higher self who also is literally a being a part of me a part of my soul which is more advanced higher vibrational future self higher self and i was able to talk to her she gave me step-by-step -step guidance. She'd be like, okay, breathe. Okay, breathe. You know, do you think you can take a sip of coconut water? Maybe just, just rest here. And the other thing I love about higher self, she's able to give comfort and love and instructions. But most of the time on a regular day, if I ask her for something, she asks me questions. <laughs> and so she'll lead me to answers and wisdom to find it within myself. So... Those are some of the things I did to transmute emotional pain. So if, again, you guys are probably all on your ascension journey, if something super hurtful or emotional or traumatic comes up, you know your own healing tools, what works best for you, use it as an opportunity to transmute the energies and it may get you into 5D. Now is the time, okay, now is the time. Keep in mind, I've been doing these for years and years and years and years. And it's like the pressure was so much. 
that this was just the final little bump into 5D, but this has been a long, long, long journey. So I hope that this helps you put some perspective if something comes up for you. The universe is wanting you to release your fears and move into this 5D consciousness. Okay, I'm gonna lighten it up for just a moment. <laughs> Something much lighter that's also been in my mind. We're gonna move into a couple other things. We're gonna wrap up. So, um, as I'm in 5D, I'm really like reconnecting with all the things I love. Like I'm just feeling love. And one thing is nails. <laughs> so I actually, this is my old nail polish. Um, I was getting ready to throw this away because I'm all about being as clean, you know, everything non-toxic, clean, um, but I love having nails done. So I was wondering if you guys have any recommendations for a more natural, you know, non-toxic type of nail polish. So let me know if you do. Again, I'm completely into, like, I would just live, like, everything in, like, from nature if I could, and that's really the way I'm going. I love things to be super pure. But I'm also a little bougie and I love having my nails done. I love having my hair done. I love wearing jewelry. <laughs> so anyway, that's just a little fun thing that I'm thinking about now. I might do, if I get some nail polish, maybe I'll review it. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to share is, so once I reached 5D and I was in Texas, got back from my trip, um, this book was waiting for me at home um, because I'm going to interview her on this system. And so I'd already reached 5D. Um, so this is an energy healing system that you can do um, at home. And she's coming on my channel. <sighs> Guys, this is the most powerful energy healing modality to ever come to earth. I'm not saying that as an opinion. I'm hearing it and I'm channeling it the most powerful energy healing system to ever come to earth. So it's incredible. I don't need to talk about it too much because we're gonna do a whole episode on it with the woman who channeled it, Liz Ann Fisher. I have been using it, I have been applying it. It's a system of pyramid, energetic pyramids that you use and they heal you and it feels incredible. It's amazing. I don't know, these things you have to experience. I am an energy healer. I have been studying every, like so many different healing modalities for five, six years now in my own trauma healing, healing journey. Um, I've done a lot, okay? Daily, 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 daily practice. This is the most powerful thing I've ever experienced. And the thing is, you really don't do much. You set the intention and you activate the different pyramids in meditation and they work on you and it's phenomenal. So I'm very excited to interview her. I've been using it, applying it, incredible. Okay, so I think the last thing I wanna mention is that I'm really feeling like now is the time where I need to step up and share more about the Galactic Federation and extraterrestrials. People are asking me a lot of questions. Um, there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of fear around this whole subject. So I just wanna be a positive voice in saying there's absolutely nothing to fear when it comes to extraterrestrials, okay? Absolutely nothing to fear. Put your minds at ease. Um, I, you know, I realize I've been saying, okay, I communicate with extraterrestrials and I need to back that up with some evidence. So I'm going to be sharing more stories, more updates from them, um, you know, really making it personal so that you guys can get to meet some of these extraterrestrials like through my stories, what they're like. Um, yeah. I think you, you guys are really wanting, okay, let's, let's know more, you know, what's, what's going on for real. Um, so 
But I guess the one thing I'm feeling called to share right now, um, so basically, why don't we know about extraterrestrials? Why isn't the government open about this? You know, why is it not public knowledge? Why are there people like me who are taking on this role as ambassadors and doing this work and educating the public? Well, I guess the one thing I really wanted to explain is that Earth has been quarantined, okay? Why are we not aware of the other people in the universe? We've been quarantined here, okay, for generations. We used to have open ET contact. Um, watch Ancient Aliens if you want evidence. Um, I watched a few episodes of that. I think it, it feels really good and accurate to me. We used to have open contact. We got quarantined and isolated. And as you know from a quarantine, why do we quarantine something? To keep a pathogen or a disease in one place. So in this case, it was basically a light versus dark war, okay? Um, a spiritual war, literally light versus dark, um, that was taking place and happening all over the universe, okay? Like forever, for eons, all over, destroying planets, destroying civilizations, um, and somehow it was agreed upon to condense it and isolate it to Earth and to see what would happen and what would play out here on Earth <laughs> um, with non-interference, okay? Meaning that the other ET races would not be allowed to interfere or intervene, um, literally just be left alone, light versus dark on Earth, and see what plays out. So that's why we have not had open contact or communication from these beings, these other races, up until now. So what is happening now? What's happened now is that the motherfucking light has already won. This is part of the ascension, okay? Um, and if you guys are watching this, I'm sure you are a light worker, whether you outwardly know it or you just carry light and love in you and you're helping people in whatever way in your work, in your community, in your family. Um, there was a huge strategy and plan put in place to bring light to the planet. So many of us incarnated on the planet, so including me, light workers helping from the inside as well as extraterrestrials and like every dimensional level of light worker helping from the outside and the light won now we won but we're still in what i would consider the aftermath or the fallout still removing some of the last remnants of dark from the planet um and now it's time to go in and to heal and to restore and recover the trauma and the abuse. It's like, okay, war is over. Well, now everyone's traumatized and the land is decimated. Um, and so what's happening now is that our star brothers and sisters are going to be arriving to the planet and coming and to, to assist in the restoration of our planet as well as to mingle with us. They have so much respect and adoration for us. So Earth is the pain school. Okay, so from how I understand, every planet kind of has a thing or an essence that, you know, one or two that they work, that souls incarnate to that planet to go learn, to work on, to study, to grow in that area. So for example, it could be just spirituality. It could be, I don't know, thinking yoga. It could be technology. It could be science. It could be music. It could be beauty, psychic abilities. I mean, it's infinite, right? Infinite universe. Earth is the pain school. If you came here, you wanted to experience suffering and pain and trauma and transmute it to light. If you're watching this channel, you're someone who's transmuting it to light. So Earth is the pain school. And if you think about it in terms of an infinite universe, yeah, of course there's going to be a pain school. 
consciousness is going to want to explore pain and suffering. If you're infinite, yeah, let's give it a go. Give it a try. So Earth is the pain school. Um, the light has won the war. We're at the very tail end of getting the dark ones out. Um, but now it's time for healing and restoration. Um, oh, but I was saying that to say that these people from other planets, they want to learn from us. You know, I think a lot of times when I was first meeting them, I think, oh, they're our saviors and they're coming and healing us. No, it's not. It's not that at all. Yes, they have technologies that they want to use to help and implement. They want to like get to know us and study us and learn from us. They don't have as great of a spectrum of emotions. They don't understand the pain body and suffering and trauma and hell the way we do. So if you look at it from a universal perspective, the knowledge and wisdom and rich experiences we have here are beautiful. Um, and we also have so much beauty on our planet amidst the pain. So we are their star brothers and sisters. And you know the time is rapidly approaching, coming where they are coming um, because the quarantine is now over. Quarantine has been lifted um, because the war has been won. And it's time for restoration. Um, so also take care of yourself because it's also on an individual level. So I'm going to be sharing more about, I guess, these kind of messages from Galactic Federation. In Galactic Federation, you can think of kind of like a UN. So it's just a body of different planets that have come together um, to help each other and to share and to protect, you know, underdeveloped planets like Earth. Um, I don't know if they would use that word, but I'm using that word, underdeveloped. Um, and they also have a layer of protection around Earth. Um, they have a grid of ships around Earth. And I mean, this was, I guess, always part of my destiny to work with them, to be an ambassador. Um, and it's also, it's become possible because I have developed my psychic seeing as well as my telepathy. So I am able to interact with them, have communications, um, work with them. And they also really respect my experience as a healer and as a human um, and use that to better understand humans. You know, it's like anthropology, um, learning about the culture and really how they can better help and integrate with us. So, yeah, so guys, I think that's all of my updates for now. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, I hope that all of this is helpful. You know, I love sharing what's going on. It's becoming more and more shown to me that I need to be a positive voice in this chaotic time. Times are changing, systems are collapsing, businesses are closing, things are ending but there's light so there's light um and with the extraterrestrials interstellars as i call them there's nothing to be afraid of um so i hope i can just be that voice and start to teach people about them as we prepare for their arrival here okay guys have a great day um i really appreciate liking sharing subscribing you know it helps to promote this content hey guys have a good day bye